Hello and welcome to our third tutorial entitled First Room. In this tutorial we'll explain to you how to create your first room of a map. First of all you need to start the hammer editor for the game that you want to create the map for. If the hammer editor is open you have to select the block tool on the left side of the navigation. Now we have to drag a box in the top view of the size that the room should be. Press enter to place the block in your map. On the side view you have to change the size of the block as well so that we have a big block. Now we go to the camera tool and place the camera inside the block that we've created. So that we can see the block in our 3D window the whole block will be in the standard texture used by the hammer editor. Click on the selection tool and select the block with Ctrl plus H or right click. A new window will pop up with the title Hollow. Here you have to enter the width of the walls the room should have. In this tutorial, for example, we use 32. With higher or lower numbers you can size the width of the walls. If you now go back to the camera tool in the 3D window, you can now go into the room that you have just created. Now select the selection tool again and select one of the side walls. You will notice that everything is now selected. That's because we have made a hollow from a single block. Press Ctrl plus U or right click ungroup to ungroup all sides of the room. You can now select a single wall of a room and give them some other textures. By holding the Ctrl key you are able to select more than one wall. Select all the walls on the side and click on browse under textures on the right side to choose another texture for the walls. If you have selected a texture click on apply current texture on the left hand side. Select the floor to see the room walls have now the textures you have chosen. You can also do that with the floor and the ceiling. Now click on the entity tool or shift plus E on the left navigation. Onto the right side and the standard entity info player start is already selected. Click on the floor in the 3D window to place the player start. This is the position you will spawn on the map. Use the entity tool again to select the place where you will place your light. You have to do that by clicking on that place on the top and the side view of the wireframe windows. A green line with a green box will appear to show you where you have placed that light. You will also notice a green line or cross in the 3D window that you have chosen on your map. Now replace play info start on the right navigation with light. Go back to the 3D view and press enter. Now a light bulb will appear in the 3D view and in the wireframe views a little box. Double click on the light entity that you've just placed and a new window will pop up. These are the settings of the light entity. Here you have many things that you can change. Click on brightness to see the normal brightness. Click on pick color to make the light red for example. But we will leave it white. 200 is to make the light more or less bright. There are much more things that you can change on the light entity but we will leave that for now. We will explain more about the lights on one of the next tutorials. Now we have built a little room with a player start and a light. To save the map click on file, save as and choose a name for your map. We will name it tutorial map 1. This will be a VMF file. You are not able to play your map yet. This is important to change something in the map later if you want to add or delete something. To be able to play this map click on file and run and be sure that everything in this window is right. Leave the run BSP on normal, the run VIS on normal and the run RAD on normal. Also click on don't run this game after compiling or you will have problems later compiling or playing this map. Click on OK and wait until it is finished. It can take a few seconds, a few minutes or even a few hours depending on your system. If it is finished you can now start the game and choose the map you have created. You have to load the map maybe from your console in Half-Life 2 and mods. Type in the console map tutorial 1 to load the map. And here we are, you have created your first room. 
We hope you've enjoyed our third tutorial. For more information and tutorials, visit our website at www.lambdarising.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.